everyone. Um, this is Miles, your tech guy from Chibi No Podcast. Thought I'd do something a little fun and different today. I've been uh, playing Rage 2, and I kind of want to do a little impression slash review video. So let's just get into it. So I'm playing on the PC, obviously. <laughs> um, one thing I really like so far is the amount of stuff you can enable on this. They got a good field of uh, view. You can turn the motion blur completely off. Um, I'm playing on ultra wide, as you can see here. Everything's maxed out. I have a 2080 Ti. So far, I get about an average of like 80 to 100 at uh, the settings here. So you can kind of see some of the settings here. So, anyways, uh, I'm not too far in the game. I probably just a few hours. I'm having a lot of fun. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go off, go over a little some of this gameplay and stuff. This thing has to offer. Uh, the vehicle in this has been really cool. If, if you don't have the vehicle and you're just running around, <laughs> that sucks. So you definitely want to make sure that you have the vehicle with you at all times. Sorry, sport. I'm fresh out, I'm of, out of ammo right now on it. Uh, you need to go to like vendors and get that replaced. It's kind of annoying. I don't know. There might be a perk or something where you can even edit that like later, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, speaking of perks, let me, before I go into this little area here, here let me open up the menu here. So here's kind of the map. Uh, this is cool. So a lot of this stuff I kind of just found by exploring randomly. I haven't been necessarily following everything. Like, this is kind of a random place. Anyways, uh, you can find any of these places you want to go to. Usually the purples are like places of interest or like a mission. Um, some of these Blues are kind of like little side things. If I like right click, for example, here it'll it'll let me. <clears throat> it gives me those uh, pink arrows that you're seeing to get to a place that I want to go. So inventory, I have not gotten too much. You can see I don't even have like the drone or anything here. As for nanotrites, this is where you saw the cool stuff in the tra trailers. Um, like this guy's doing this like force push kind of thing. You got the this grab jump. I've maxed mine out, which is cool. It's almost like the hunter's jump, like in uh, Destiny. Um, defibrillator is kind of cool. Uh, I've been playing on hard, not normal difficulty, and it's it's not bad on hard. Uh, normal is just a little too easy for a challenge for me. This one kind of saves saves your ass a little bit if you're about dead. So let's see what else I got here. This one's just a health generator. Nothing too fancy. Um, I haven't really used this much. Just kind of show you some people hiding behind walls. I just I'm not used to playing games with that, so I haven't used it. The dash is actually my favorite one. It kind of reminds me of Halo Five. You can kind of dash out of the way and it reloads every few seconds. That's been the that's my favorite so far. Weapons I only got these three. As you can see, I really haven't maxed any of these completely out. I'm still trying to get level three here. And projects. This is kind of where you can get some additional skills. So in here, for example, carry up to six robles of like your shurikens or grenades or whatever. Um, sprint 30% faster. You can kind of see where this is kind of going. Um, so yeah, a lot of a lot of decked out stuff. Here's the vehicle stuff. Uh, let me exit out of this. Get back to some gameplay. So let me exit out of the vehicle. Here. Good luck out so, there. What we got going on here? It's pretty. Pretty game, you know. I've been liking it. Uh, maxed out, it's not bad. Uh, here's that Halo 5 dash thing I was talking about. You can kind of spray. It's really cool. I don't know exactly what's in here. Let's see here. Okay. Go to the caverns. You'll find their death god there. Some of the side characters are kind of interesting. Um, the story hasn't been anything crazy. It's kind of just a generic shooter kind of thing. The, the game's mostly fun where it just comes from exploring and uh, the, the combat, it reminds me a lot of like Doom, but also kind of meets Borderlands in a way of uh, just the whole desert and kind of collecting some loot here and there. It's not anything like crazy like, like levels and stuff. But other than that, it's been a lot of fun. Let's go to one of these these missions over here. Let's see what's this guy over here. Um, yeah, let's try this one. All right, so we're gonna head over here. The yeah, story hasn't been anything too big. I've been loving the game though. It's just a lot of fun. It's really fast paced. Kind of reminds me of the Wolfenstein slash Doom, obviously. It's a Bethesda game. I got this on the Bethesda launcher. I got a, a code for like 40 bucks, so it wasn't anything bad. I'd rather have it on Steam, but 
it wasn't going to pass up the deal, so. I don't have any ammo, otherwise I'd shoot some of these random guys. It kind of feels lonely driving around, to be honest. There's not much really going on, as you can see. It's only until we need to get to the missions that we start kicking off. Which, I'm not really a big fan of that part of it. You know, but We're when you get into missions, it's amazing. So, let's go see if we can kill some baddies and hopefully I don't embarrassingly die on uh, the video. <laughs> let's see if I can find anything about Dr. Cross here. I don't know why my uh, jump's not working. Oh, I'm in a town. Okay. So, there's not really much to spoil again. The game doesn't really... The story's not really that much of an interest. Let's see what we got here. Some bounties. Uh, and also, if anybody's interested in my specs, I'll leave those down in the video below. So, I got a pretty crazy rig, so it's not anything like... Week. This, I wanted a rig that can handle pretty much anything. It's been really good. Let me get some stuff here. Definitely want some grenades. What can I do? I got a few things still in stock. Take a look. Okay. I think I'm good here. Yeah, I think we get here. I'm not sure where this guy is. Oh, those are just arc chests. The arc chests you can kind of use to upgrade your weapons and such. Where's the main guy I need to find here? So one thing like the trailer when you first saw this game they highlighted a lot of this like pink and uh, neon colors and stuff. That's everywhere in this game. Oh that that's real nice dude. <laughs> um, the, I, I really like the artistic style in this game. It's been really really cool. So we gotta look for information huh? I thought that knife was, is that knife just floating there? Okay then. We got a balance acting knife. That's awesome. You know what? Let me go back in. Well, no, let's not do that. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. Ranger. The lighting's really, really cool. I haven't seen a ranger in a long, long time. Now you look a bit lost to me. We fought back to back, your kind and mine, back in the war. Name's Mo Rummy. I'm just an old vet who keeps an eye out for the people of Laguni. Been living here a good long time now, and I know just about everyone. Do you know anything about a Dr. Kvasir? Scientist? Real old? Haven't heard that name since just after the war. He moved into the Deep Secreto, and then went completely off the radar. Nobody's seen him since. Anything else you can tell me? Well, the area around his base is usually awful quiet, on account of the heavy old security. But lately, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from that part of the wetland. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Alright, let's go check it out, like you said. So, he said a wasteland, right? Some of the bounties. Is the old dogs, it said? <clears throat> I have to find my where my ride is. I don't remember where I came in here. Oh, they got oh, some monster trucks. Interesting boats. I didn't know they had any of this in here. That's really cool. Let's go back to our car here. Activating. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to uh, spoil anything for anybody that's been watching. Hell, let's just go do a bounty. How about that? So here's those pink lines again I was talking about, or purple. 
this is a really cool color and everything else. Let's go up and see if we can fight some, uh, fight some baddies. Destination reached. I haven't done any races, kind of like the first rage. I'm kind of waiting for that. Oh, I saw my grenade selected. There we go. Oh, I did not mean to double push that. I guess it works. <laughs> Pistol eyes actually been really impressed by it, really messes people up. But when you zoom in, it gives you like more of the single burst. And then when you uh, are not zoomed in, it'll do like a triple burst, I guess you could say. Oh, jeez, that guy pegged me hard right there. Fifty percent integrity. Fifty percent integrity. Yeah, that thing just messes up a lot of rando people here. I have a shotgun. It's cool, it's a shotgun. You can zoom in and it'll do like a single shot like that. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, I got a thing where these, um, those blues that you saw drop, it's kind of like a currency, I guess you could say. Once you get enough, though, it will, um, actually, no, let me see if there's any kind of here. Uh, I got it set to where if you pick up any of that blue, it'll actually kill you, so that's kind of kind of a nice perk that I got going on. Anything over here? Any loot box or anything? One thing I hate, how you guys saw me hit that and break that, some of the, the hit detection I've noticed on it is really annoying. Like, uh, there's been times where I've just hit the crap out of boxes and it won't even detect or register. It is so damn annoying. Uh, let's see what we got here. Goontown. Oh, that's just a shop. Okay. So. Let's try going over here. I haven't been over here. Let's, uh, let's look a bitch, as they say. <laughs> let's go this way. Let's <clears throat> see what else we can do. So, I don't think you guys can see my frame counter. Uh, right now, in the traveling, about 83, 85. So, it's running pretty good. I haven't had, one thing I like is sometimes those PC ports or whatever, this hasn't felt so much like a port, it's it's run really good, I think the recommended is a 1070, so I thought that was kind of really high when I first saw that. The game hasn't like crashed, I haven't had any bugs, which I'm really impressed by, a lot of times I've experienced that, I get a little worried with PC games sometimes these days, it's just, it's one of them bandits. It's debatable of how optimized, when you got like week a week for the developers to come out and fix a bug or two, and... So I've been really impressed. They've done really good. I mean, PC is kind of my main platform I like to play on. I have Xbox. I have PlayStation. We have all. I have all that fun stuff. All of us do for the podcasting and stuff. We have all the different systems, you know, switches, whatever. Uh, so I'm hoping to do some more Let's Play type things like this in the future. I know David and Diego are doing some. They're gonna do Cuphead on the Switch. So I'm actually really excited to see that. Their banter as brothers is hilarious. So definitely something I want to recommend uh, to look at. Ooh, I almost crushed myself right there. <laughs> that's awesome. There we go. That's kind of that double jump I was talking about. See how you can flow like that? That's cool. Oh, those are baddies. I was not expecting that. Ooh, I got some health stone. Oh, jeez. Like a suicidal drunk from Halo right there or something. There you go. Yeah, those are some pretty cool enemies. What's this? A mu mutant spore. Not familiar with that one yet. Alright, so let me see. So if, if there's some hit itchies with the boxes, you'll see it right here. See that? Yeah, it's kind of garbage. I like when he opens the door. I mean, you see more of this pink stuff right here. It's just cool how they do all these neon colors and stuff. It's really cool, the bright colors. Uh, the animation just looks like straight out of Doom, which obviously just says it and all that. But anyway, I just love these type of games from them, so. I didn't really play the first Doom much. I didn't like it. I mean, not Doom, sorry. Not Doom. <laughs> Rage. I didn't like the first Rage much at all. Uh, so this has been kind of a breath of fresh air for me, personally.
I mean, when you get into combat, though, it is just a ride. I'm gonna do a force push. There you go. That's awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> that one hurt. A really cool area. Kind of reminds me of like in Destiny when you play those um, underworld cave kind of things. It kind of reminds me of that so far. This is new. I haven't played one like this before, so I don't know. Oh, the first time I've had a slow mo animation. Like I said, I'm not too far in. I'm still kind of upgrading, but it's just been a blast to play this game. kill myself, right? Why is it not taking it? There we go. Moving too fast for us. See that? See that hit detection? That's some bullshit! Alright. Find and dismantle the Death God Shrine. So I'm just going on a killing spree, it sounds like. Here's some of those uh, Fertilite or whatever it's called, Feltrite, that heals ya. See that? Oh, that is just a real big annoyance for me. Yeah, I don't think you can... I don't think you can open up any of those. Let's see. Take what? I thought I was going to say I'm taking garbage for a second. Like, that's not right. I don't want no Garbo. No Garbo, please. I wonder if I can make this. Should we see if we can make it? Ooh, I can! And it was kind of completely point- Oh, wait a minute. Ah! I found the stash. So you'll see up here when I collect this, one out of seven. <clears throat> I've seen other people say that you can collect uh, kind of a radar thing that tells you where those crates are. Uh, it makes it easier to find, otherwise just kind of skip them, I guess you could say, because sometimes they're a pain in the ass and it's just not worth it all the time. Do I need to go down there, maybe? Yeah, I think I need to go down there. Let's go down. There is fall damage, which can be really annoying, especially when the game is so fast-paced and it, I don't know. Whatever. Alright, let's go. Let's go down in here. Oh boy. That's never a good sign. Oh boy. Go over this fire guy. That's gonna be a problem. So I always like these fast plays, fast paced type shooters. I've always liked them. Even on Overwatch, my main is a, tr is a tracer. I always like that type of movement feel. Especially in like Halo 5 where you can kind of do the disappear thing. I've always liked that stuff. That guy is annoying. Get some pistol action going. I love the pistol mix. Well, maybe not. It's not doing enough damage on these guys, at least. Let's go back to the plexi shotgun. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Hit me pretty hard right there. I need to get my perk updated. There's a perk that, like, lowers the uh, melee damage you can take. So a lot of these guys like to do melee in the game, I've noticed. See, that is just slowing me down not be able to cut that damn stuff. There's the other one. Oh, what the? Okay, let's get all our wing stick here. There we go. Looks like I'm almost dead and I'm out of health fat, so that's not good. Hmm. What do we got here? Oh, you suicidal grunt. Oh, 
come on, I hit that. That should give me some health right there. Oh, then you stupid boxes. Why is the music still going? Is somebody still around? Hmm. Oh my gosh. See what I'm saying? That is the biggest annoyance in this game for me, to be honest, so far, is just trying to pick up those stupid boxes because you have to break them. And I'd really rather keep my ammo, so. More health before we go to the next place. I think it's got a health back. So you can see that shining skull down there. That's the overdrive ability. I'll show you that here probably in the next section. Did you like a superpower? So what you want to do is kind of keep a chain going of kills and get as many as you can going. Alright. Pretty game. Really like the aesthetics they went for here. Pass that. Let's see what else is back here first where we just go dropping down. Jeez. Where are we going? Hmm. Or at least we're getting some some stuff. Reload before I go anywhere, make sure I'm all good on all my ammos. Oh, there's some guys. So I'm not sure if this is the right way or if this is a detour or what. some components. There's some crafting. I just barely got to the part where you can start crafting, so I haven't really been able to craft much. I know you can craft, like, grenades and health infusions? So maybe I should do that. Let's, let's check that out. Let's go to the... Let's go to my inventory here. I think it's right in here you can craft. Is it right here? Health infusions. Right here. Hold F to craft. Some games like the whole... How would you explain that? The E, I guess you'd select on keyboard and mouse. I like F. On my, on my melee buttons, I usually like to be the uh, one of the thumb buttons on the mouses. Mises. Oh, no. no. Okay, now they're here. Okay, let's throw a grenade in there. Okay, that's not a grenade. Probably some people thinking in the comments like this guy's just a new, and it's like yeah, it comes to breaking boxes. Apparently I am. Oh, I forgot I needed to use that overdrive. Can we get some more guys on the screen at once? I'll activate it. I don't want to race it. Or what is? Holy shit! Yeah, like some weird occult going on down there, don't they? I think I'm all pretty maxed out, ready to go. Keep some of these ammo boxes if I need to come back to it. Got some ammo waiting for me. Alright, let's go kick some ass. Or in Guardians Galaxy, we'll uh, take ass and kick names. <laughs> Get them to come to us. You know what? Let's do the overdrive thing. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Let's, uh. There we go. out as well as I wanted. Okay, this fire is killing me. Let's get into this mess here. Alright. 
Okay, there's too much ammo around and there's not enough guys. I wonder if there's gonna be some boss, is my guess. Yeah, I'm playing on hard, so that might be a little scary, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, I'm guessing I'm gonna activate this and stuff's gonna happen. Oh, I knew it! Oh, it gave me a magnum. I like how they give you the health bars like the old uh, 90s and 2000s games. I want my, uh, there's too many guys here, so let's, oh, so quick. Let's kill the grunts first before the big guy, because I don't think I'm going to get too far without killing the grunts. And you see, very fast pace, right? Like, very fast pace. Let's do some overdrive going on here. So many guys. Those overdrives are really helping me, so we're gonna try to use those. Notice on hard that uh, these guys are almost, they almost feel a little spongy. It's kind of the typical, right? They make them a little spongy, but when they hit you, you're almost dead. The typical. He's stupid. Yeah, you gotta go talk to my buddy again. He'll have some more stuff to say. Kind of creepy, but okay. Alright. That was actually really fun. It's a good challenge, too. I like how fast you can go up the stairs, so awesome. I don't have time for that shit. Alright. I think we just finished this up. That was a really good ba uh, boss battle. That was one of my favorites so far, actually. I think Floyd was able to get that captured for us. Watch. Stop. Come on, he's too big, great. Ah! Four out of seven, that's good. Unless there's some more up here. More crates that don't break! Actually, that one was pretty nice. This isn't a... Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, well, um, what's going on? Did you see that? What the, is that a UFO? What the hell was that? That was weird. Is this where we entered? What? 
keep up with that guy. Hey, they're trying to kill me right when I get that with my mission. Alright. Well, I think we're going to end it there. I think it's a pretty good video. Um, overall thoughts? Yeah, the game has been really, really fun. Uh, without With the lack of story and all that, it does kind of... Go, it gets the score down a little bit for me. Um, so far, impressions on the review score, I'd probably give it around maybe an 8. So, really enjoying it. I find myself, you know, when I'm at work, I'm getting excited to come back home and play the game. And I think about it when I'm, you know, doing other hobbies or whatnot. So, that to me, that to me is a really good game, Then if I'm thinking about that. So, I would recommend buying it. If this isn't your time of game, then... Or if they like you shoot shooters, but it's not your type of game to pay 60 I think 40 to 30 is a good time if there's a sale. So, other than that, I definitely think it's really good and worth the pickup. So, this is Miles, your tech guy, and this is Chibino Podcast.